I don't trust people oh, to have yeah. dead animals on their wall. That's rule number one of living club. You feel me? Like if I go into a house and they got dead animals all over the wall, you got problems. Really? Yeah, man. Have you been to Joe Rogan's house? Okay. <laughs> I can imagine he has dead animals, dead comedians. He probably has Tony Hinchcliffe up there now on his wall. <laughs> Did y'all talk about Hinchcliffe on you guys' show on TFATKZ? Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Yeah. Did you? No, we uh, we didn't talk about it yesterday. We didn't know about it yesterday. I don't think, or you, I don't know when it happened. What's your, where, where were you at on it? I mean, I, I just there shouldn't be cell phones recording anybody. So, I agree. First of all, I, I just don't know. That's that's a safe place. Yep. And then the problem too is I talked to comics who tour with Derek. Or I'm sorry, I talked with comics who tour with Tony and some other guys who were there, and they're like, dude, he's been. He's been doing that that set like that's that's part of his set for weeks, man. It crushes. Yeah. And then someone decides to cut it. So if you just see that, yeah, man, it looks terrible. He's like, but if you see the whole thing, it's really good. Yeah. But if you don't, like, I'll admit, like when you first see that, you're like Jesus Christ, Tony. But also, you're supposed to be in a safe zone, comedy zone. I know a lot of guys they start recording sets like that and blasting out. People can get in trouble, man. That's not what the art's oh, yeah. for. I'm sure if you took some of my lines and just put them out there random like that. like Yeah, if it was real blunt, you don't know the context, and you just put, oh, Theo said this, but you're not in a comedy venue or anything like that. Like That's not that's not the right thing to do. Yeah. And also that comic who did it to him, you know, he's opened up for him a number of times, also posted how thankful he was for Tony. It's like, depending on how he feels, in and in, again, this is me going based off Tony has done this previously, so you knew he was going to do this, and then now you do it and put hashtag, you know, Asian Pride Week or whatever. Uh, it seemed clout chasing yeah. me. This I tweeted yesterday, snitch clout comedy is a new thing apparently, and I don't know if I really, I, I just felt like it just felt like, look, man, we've all, people say things it's wrong sometimes or it's right to you or whatever. I think you take it up with that person. Tony's also remember this. Tony's a Tony, professional that's roaster. Thing. He's a roaster. Like he said some right. horrible shit to me. Like it's just, it's if you ever seen Kill Tony, like he lights people up, dude. Oh, if you've ever seen the first sixty episodes of this show, I've said some horrible <laughs> shit to you. Yeah, but it's like uh, I'm not gonna record him. Like look at Theo <laughs> bullying me. Yeah, you are. Nick is anyway. <laughs> Nick might Everybody get you. Else Nick might get you after. <laughs> but no, I you know I just felt like. I just don't like the way. I, wish I just don't like the route we're going. I wish it had a different. I wish there were some different punchlines in it for sure. That would have like at least like kind of seemed like it made it more entertaining. But then I also, think that's. But that's a. I don't mean to interrupt you. But that's the point. I think if it would have been more funny, that you know he'd get more backing online. But when you just see that clip, even I like I saw it. Asked oh, yeah, Chin. Chin was like, "Dude, it was terrible." Yeah. Like, what's your stance on it, Chin? As an Asian American, I just thought it wasn't funny. So if it was funny, it'd probably be different. Right, I agree, and yeah. I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say that Tony's the funniest guy in the world to me, right? But I will say that his thing is saying it's abusive and messed up shit. It's yeah. being mean, dude. A lot of times, that, it's that's in some thing. of the same vein as Ari Shafir in some of that world. You know, actually, it's they're, they're different, but but uh, no, you're on the right path. Like it's that, it's that, it's that type of comedy like t tony is a savage and like he go you know he goes below the belt that's yeah. just what he does right and sometimes when you're saying me like messed up shit it's not it's there's no plan for it it's also know? not for everybody like right. that wasn't supposed to be blasted to the masses like that's his tight-knit group yeah so i just felt like yeah it just felt like kind of clout chasey a little bit to me at the end you know no, it's no different than those girls on raya posting with the celebrities like they're not doing that because they're upset that fucking ben affleck dm'd them they're they're just trying to get clout well and that's just, what this comic story i don't know if she, I, well i don't know if maybe tony had been rude also to the guy i wonder if there was something else that happened that made him feel yeah to do this like maybe he was doing it and maybe he said something to, uh, again i have no fucking clue so yeah. I, i'm talking my ass there but maybe he was like hey man i don't like that that hurts my feelings please don't do that again tony was like what went on stage did it again he's like all right dude i told you yeah so maybe there's that but even that just as a comic like there's code man you don't snitch on each other now tony's lost his representation he can't perform there anymore he, where he does kill tony the venue won't let him allow really? him anymore so oh, wow. there's repercussions this these days yeah I haven't heard the opener talk. Was it a good impression? I don't know. I don't I'm, know. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. It That's was, a good question. I oh, know. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Jim, we didn't get your thoughts, so I feel bad I cut you <laughs> off up there. <laughs> you didn't. On the, China, on the uh, Asian comedian thing. Yeah, it wasn't. It, it just didn't feel funny. Yeah, I told Brandon, too. I was like, it just wasn't funny. Yeah. Like, if it was funny, it'd be different. It, just, it was like easy jokes. Like soy sauce. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Come on. What, do you, what do you think should happen to him, Jim?
Yeah, I wish I think it just everyone had deserves been more a chance. Funny. Would you say everyone deserves a chance? He fucked up. You saying a second chance? Yeah. What do you think about the guy filming him and, and putting it out? See, that's what I told Brent too. I was like, that's the thing I thought was the worst. That guy filming, like right. leave that in there. And plus, Tony might be working out the joke. We don't know. So right. Yeah. Like I said I talked to other comedians down there in Austin. I'm like, dude, he's been doing it before and he's crushing with it. He's like trying to figure it out. But also, some there's peep there's 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 there's, in, there's all types of entertainment. So it's like some entertainment is crass, messed up stuff. Pornography compared to ba ballet, you know, they're both like uses of the body yeah, you to don't do have things. To. And one of them is extremely vulgar and messed up. And one of them is more artistic to some, but, but other but, people but, see but it here, different. But here's the thing. Like if I'm into that type of whatever ballet, I'll watch it. If I don't like that porn, I don't have to watch it. You don't have to buy tickets to watch Tony Hinchcliffe. Right. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, it, maybe it's not for you, but to lose gigs over it, because he has a fan base. Some people dig it. Yeah.